that one. So there's my summary, if you like. My summary conclusion. We started out trying to uh, understand the rock, uh, the volume fraction, the porosity, storativity, capacity of the rock, if you like, the fluids within it, um, and uh, the flow capacity we've sort of touched on in the last in the last sections here, and the ability of this rock to actually have fluids flow through it. So, uh, in summary, I guess um, what uh, uh, I'm hopefully, hopefully I've shown that uh, petrophysics can be expressed in in simple terms in those uh, in those four elements that uh, I've tried to uh, put over throughout this presentation. Um, obviously every reservoir presents a different challenge and slightly different problems um, and as the bridge between geology and uh, reservoir engineering uh, that's where us petrophysicists lie uh, there's always scope for an argument sorry a discussion about our interpretations all of this stuff is oftentimes uh, an interpretation there are really no tools that give you the absolute answer although some might argue that the NMR does a pretty good job um, all of it is interpreted from a number of different measurements and all pulled together um, to provide an integrated interpretation and understanding there's no one piece of information that's going to give you the whole answer and uh, well, it's kept me interested for over 20 years and I don't see any sign of me getting bored with it just yet so uh, with the new challenges ahead, I look forward to uh, to playing around with these squiggly lines a little bit further. I hope uh, you've you found this useful. Um, I'll have hopefully uh, had to split it up into chapters to make it a little bit more uh, palatable for you. But uh, if you'd like to um, know any more, just uh, drop me an email. My uh, email's on the website, and uh, and I'll happily uh, get back to you. Thank you very much for your attention.